World of Warcraft has been a part of my life, on and off, since 2006. I've played, stopped, created and deleted characters, and even ventured into 20 and 40 man raids back in the day. I've achieved 19 ahead of the curve achievements, AOTC, for the season players. Yet, as I find myself sitting in a city, the new player chat often carries a tinge of sadness. New players complain about things that aren't their fault, a testament to Blizzard's oversight from a player's perspective. There's a lot to cover, and both seasoned and newer players can contribute their insights. Today, I'd like to share a few things I wish new players knew as they step into the expansive world of Azeroth. Realms Blizzard has revamped realms significantly over the years, and many players aren't aware of the various realms designed to manage population and server lag. Usually, it places you in a server corresponding to your time zone or region. If you notice the in-game time is way off from your local time, a quick Google search for WoW Realm Time Zones can help. Click Change Realm at the top of your character list and align with the realm you found on Google. Easy, right? Naming your character. Let's address the elephant in the room no one cares. Most good names are taken. Just choose something sensible, be okay with being called that in chat or voice, and move on. Don't waste days on this part. Choosing a race. Don't fixate on just one. Experiment with the available options and don't fret about the locked ones. You can unlock them later. Race doesn't significantly impact the mainstream game, so play what appeals to you. Blizzard has removed many racial benefits, so pick your favorite and dive in. Class. I recommend trying out a few classes to find the one that speaks to you. Your chosen class should feel right, and you'll catch on quickly. If you find yourself not enjoying a class or struggling by level 40, don't hesitate to delete it and try another. It's no big deal. I've deleted level 60 characters several times just because I hated their playstyle. Rogue Creating your character. I get it. You want to look cool or badass. Here's the deal make it look decent to you. It doesn't matter, they don't tell you this, but every major city has barber shop where you can tweak everything about your character's appearance. Don't get hung up on it. Dive in, have fun, and learn to play. The max level boost. This can be a giant headache for some players. If you're seasoned, you might want to skip the leveling grind. No judgment, I've done it. But for new players, it doesn't expire, and you don't have to use it right away. Hold off until you've played a character long enough to know and love it. Otherwise, you might find yourself at level 70, clueless about your class, likely to regret the decision. Blizzard won't refund it, change it, or even acknowledge your existence. Play around until you're sure this is the tune you want to boost. The Shop and Store Listen, I understand that companies need to make a profit to survive, but Blizzard and Activision really took it to the next level with their microtransactions and shop purchases. I will be short and clear. You never need to buy a single thing from them unless it is an expansion or a item you want. There is nothing special in there, you will have the same thing as thousands of other players. Nothing in there makes any improvement to the game in the shop. Save your money. Only buy things you want or expansions you need. They already make money off of us every month. Starting Areas At some point, Blizzard thought, Hey, let's add new stuff for new people. Well, seasoned players usually have one, two main tunes, and we don't usually make new characters, and when we do they just stare at us when we log into our mains. They now offer two starting areas for most races, and the newer ones are a bit more confusing. Despite the new hand-holding quest style in the game, I suggest doing a brief Google search and finding out the old starting area for your race and following that path for less stress and timeline confusion. Dungeons. They'll throw you into dungeons early on. I recommend avoiding this if you have trouble with fast-paced running, lack of explanations, or can't handle toxic players. The dungeon finder will toss you into either a random dungeon or one of your choice with four other random players, each with a role to play. If you're new to the game, this can be really confusing and a lot to take in. And This can give you a bad impression of the game and interactions with others, who are, for the most part, really toxic and full of themselves. Try dungeons later in the game once you enjoy your class and understand how combat works. Class Roles Class roles come into play during group quests or dungeons and raids. Usually, it looks like this. One tank, one healer, three DPS for standard five-man dungeons. Simply double the numbers for a ten-man raid. 
the tank distracts the creatures, taking all the damage and keeping the group alive. Healers do as the name implies focus on healing your group. Now DPS your job is to attack the target the tank is holding, as effective as possible and following a cooldown rotation on your attacks to maximize damage. Your role is to put out numbers while staying out of bad stuff and staying alive. Questing Questing has become somewhat of a joke in the game. You used to have to figure things out, but now there are helpers and tips for everything. Don't know where to go. Check your quest log, click the quest, and open the map, go to the highlighted area. Even your mini-map will guide you with an arrow to your quest. It's the easiest way to level, no googling, asking around, or thinking of any kind. But if you want to enjoy questing and the stories they tell, take the time to read quest lines and listen to the NPCs for a more immersive experience. Guilds Okay, I'm going to catch some smoke on this one if I haven't all read on this ride. Guilds used to have a significant purpose and social benefits. However, for the most part, Blizzard has made guilds unnecessary. The toxic, I'm better than everyone mentality has turned them into drama cesspools. If you want to join a guild, go ahead. You can G. Quit at any time if it becomes a problem. But you don't need one. Thanks to Blizzard's dungeon and raid finder options, you can do dungeons and raids without a guild. It only seems to matter at the mythic level. I haven't been in a guild on my four mains in six years, and have done every piece of content up to heroic level without any issue, stress, or fuss, so don't feel like you need to join if you don't want to. There are even options in the finder for quests that require a group, so just run with randoms and experience the game. Add-ons Add-ons can enhance or worsen your gaming experience. Play with the factory game for a bit, then decide which add-ons you want to use. There are hundreds of thousands of add-ons. Many are garbage, but a few shine for quality of life. Once you get into the raid scene, you'll need some basic add-ons to help you. Personally, I use details for tracking damage and healing, deadly boss mods for raids, Bartender 4 to change my UI, and unfortunately, Raider.io. Because that rules your life when you get to raiding later in the game, and lets people measure their EP and judge you without even interacting with you. Good stuff. There's no real wrong way to play. Lastly, there's no wrong way to play the game. You can level battle pets, which is a whole other topic, quest, dungeon, PvP battle, farm materials for the auction house, explore the world, sit in a city or town and roleplay. It's up to you, it's your game. Play it how you feel is right. I usually dungeon level to max, then hit heroic difficulty dungeons, straight into raids, and never see the outside world again till new content comes. But other times I want to explore and see the world, level by quest, or whatever my heart feels that day. What do you guys think? Do you have any tips for new players or questions about the game if you're thinking of getting into it? Leave a comment and help each other out. Even though I take breaks from the game, I keep coming back because you can find just as much fun as stress in it. Remember, no path in the game is concrete, and you can start over because when you start over, you're not starting from zero, you're starting from experience. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you all in Azeroth.